Okay, so yeah, what happened? Um, this is going to be a continuation of the orthogonal decomposition theorem. So I was about to show um, that y that y where y is equal to y hat plus z was uh, is unique, but then it, the system crashed on me. So I'm just going to restart from here. Okay. So we want to show okay that y Okay, our vector that we're projecting onto W, okay, and this 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 can be composed of, or it's, it is decomposed of y hat and z, okay. Okay, so going back up to the figure, okay. So remember, here's so y. Right, so from here, okay, from this one, okay, we can see that y, the vector y is the same as z plus y hat, okay. So we want to show that y vector is, is unique, okay. All right, so to do this, we have to pick, so we're gonna choose two different representations of, of Y. And then going through some logic, we can show that uh, there's a uh, there's a certain issue that where that can only happen, okay? All right, so we're gonna let Y be equal to, let's say Y1 hat plus, let's say Z1. Okay, and let y hat, not y hat, sorry, y vector, okay, the vector y be equal to y hat 2 plus z2, okay. All right, so two different, two different assumptions here, okay. Okay, so all right. So remember, y hat. Okay, and this is for where y one hat belongs to W. Okay, and z one belongs to the the orthogonal complement. Okay. W. Okay. Let's see. Okay, so that's true for so that's for y one and for y one z one. And the same thing for y two. Okay. Alright, so let me just write it over here. So I'll just write it this way. So this belongs to okay, this belongs to W. And this belongs to the orthogonal complement of W. And then same thing here. This belongs to W, and this belongs to the orthogonal complement of W. Okay, so I need to state that over here. Okay, so we have that Y. Okay, so Y1 hat plus z1 okay because we said that this okay this is equal to y and so is this y2 plus z2 so we're assuming two different representations okay All right and so this has to be the case where they're equal okay because this is both of these are y okay so now just looking at this part okay Okay, so all right, so let's see. Yeah, just looking at here, okay. So we have that rearranging this, we have y, y one hat, okay, minus y two hat, 
it's equal to z1 hat or I can say let's see right this way so this can be written as z2 z2 minus z1 okay okay so this part here okay y1 minus y2 okay that has to be in w okay y1 hat minus y2 hat okay going back up here all right because you're taking the difference right it's the difference of vectors and in, in you're taking the difference of two vectors in in w so therefore this result has to be in w okay the same thing here except that this is in the orthogonal complement of w so z2 okay right z because both of these z2 and z1 both belong in w okay so therefore the difference has to be in the same vector space okay all right so this okay this can only happen okay Okay, this can only happen if y if y1 minus y2 is equal to 0. Okay. All right, because if you have we have one vector in w and in, in the other vector is equal equal to or it belongs to w complement. So the only way that can work is if the only the only vector that does that is the zero vector. Okay, so going back up here, you see? The zero vector is in W and in W perp. Okay, so that's how we can reach this in conclusion. Okay, so that implies, okay, so basically from here, this tells us that y1 hat must be equal to y2 hat. Okay. Okay, and so then, since that's since those are the same, okay, that means that this part must be zero here. Okay, so going back to here, we have y one hat minus y two hat equals to z two hat or z sorry z two vector z two and z one. Okay, so y1 is equal to y2 this has to be a zero vector so therefore this must be right this has to be equal to zero vector so this tells us that z2 must be equal to z1 so therefore okay we should, that means right so hence okay Right, so z2 is equal to z1 and y1 is equal to y2. Okay, so that means y must right, y they must be the same. Okay, they're the same representations. Hence, right, so y. Okay, so y hat or y sorry vector y is unique. Okay, so we said that y right y hat or y vector is y hat plus z1 and then y is also equal to y2 plus z2 but we said that in our assumption right so we said that in our conclusion that y1 is equal to y2 and z1 is equal to z2 so this gives us the same representation Okay, so this component is equal to this component, and this component is equal to this component. So therefore, y, right, the vector y, okay, is, is unique. Okay, right, and that's a very important thing. Okay. 
all right because we want our all right so what this says is that we have a vector y and we're projecting onto w so this is going to give us a unique representation okay in terms of y hat okay so this is a uh, this will lead us directly to the least squares uh, application all right okay so this is a very nice result